New car sales are red hot in 2013, and leases are the hottest thing when it comes to cars this year, with 25% of new cars now being leased. But when does it make sense to lease, and when should you stick with a purchase? The average new car now costs $30,000. That makes the average loan payment now $464 a month, according to MSN Money. As a result, leasing is back in a big way because you get that same car for a lower payment. Edmunds.com says leasing can be for you if you're just starting out and have no down payment for a new car. You can afford a new car every three or four years. You drive less than 10,000 miles a year, or you always want to be covered by a full warranty. But from the doesn't that stink file when it doesn't pay to lease. If you go over the mileage limit, you will pay dearly and end up saying, doesn't that stink? Also, Edmund says don't lease if you haul a lot of stuff and may dent and ding up the car, or if you want to make any modifications to it, or if you are hoping to build up a down payment for your next car. Remember, while leasing will typically get you into a more expensive car than you could by buying, you have no equity at the end, and you could become a serial leaser the rest of your life. So think hard so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.